next topic in motion in a straight line is about PT graph. What is a PT graph? This is a graph obtained, graph obtained by plotting, by plotting time along x-axis versus the position of the particle in motion, position in y-axis, along y-axis. So here we have taken four important uh, cases or a presentation of PT graph, PT graphs usually asked in the examination. The first PT graph, you can see time along x-axis and position of the particle in motion along y-axis. For a body at rest, if a body at rest, then how the PT graph? The PT graph is, this is the PT graph. The PT graph is a straight line parallel to the time axis. Because its position is fixed, only time is passing, its position is not changing. So remember, the shape of the PT graph of a particle at rest is parallel to x-axis. Now if a body moves with uniform velocity, now see that PT graph, the time is also increasing, the position is also increasing and this is a linear graph, it's a straight line graph. So this graph represents the PT graph of a particle moving with uniform velocity. Now here, if a body moves with increasing velocity, see now the velocity of the particle is increasing, the velocity of the particle is increasing. This is the PT graph of a particle moving with increasing velocity with respect to time or it is moving with uniform acceleration. If the body moves with uniform increased velocity, then it is in uniform acceleration. Now, if a body is now moving with decreasing velocity, this is the shape of the PT graph, if a body moves with decreasing velocity, whenever the velocity of a body decreases, now the body will have an acceleration which is called as retardation, it's negative acceleration. For example, if the driver of a car applies brake, the, so the velocity of the car keeps on decreasing with respect to time. So now the car is not under acceleration, it is under retardation because in the next few seconds it is going to stop. The effect of retardation is to slow down the velocity and finally after some time the body may come to rest. So here you see that the body is slowly decreasing its velocity or it is moving with uniform retardation. That means the driver is putting a constant brake. It's a uniform retardation. So remember the shapes of these four PT graphs which are very important for the exam. Body at rest, PT graph parallel to x-axis. Body with uniform velocity, it's a linear curve, a straight line as shown in the figure. Body moving with increasing velocity or uniform acceleration is like this. Body moving with decreasing velocity or uniform retardation is as shown here. 